Well, Our Lady's Hospice has been in existence since 1879. What's changed for the hospice over that 140 year timeline is that the demographics of our over 65s have changed and within that we expect the population to almost triple over the next 30 years. To future-proof our service, we have a plan to deliver more care to people in their home and also to provide the best possible standard of quality care in our inpatient units. We've commenced building of 36 single-bed state-of-the-art rooms and they're there to achieve the maximum amount of comfort, respect, dignity for patients and their relatives, friends and loved ones. I particularly note Kilturnan Cemetery Park, who took the brave step of coming on board with us. As you can see, we have a very special location here and it's not typical of what people would expect of a cemetery. Uh, I suppose in the, in the plan was to create somewhere that has a nice environment, very natural. So we're, we're in a, an area of spectacular natural beauty. Uh, we obviously strive to achieve uh, a significant level of care and service to people uh, at a time when they're really at a, a very low ebb. We're obviously delighted to become one of the first founding partners of this new project. It's a significant uh, project which requires significant funding. We're very much mindful that at the end of life for a lot of people that care uh, is very important and the, the work that they do and the work that we try to do here is all with the families of people who are either at end of life or have passed away. You know, they really are an inspirational organisation and are very worthy of our support. The donation will assist us in delivering high-class quality care to the maximum amount of people who need end-of-life care, who need comfort, dignity, respect at a very difficult time in their lives. And without our founding partners, these goals could not be achieved.